Look at this shit. That's where I burn my sticks and stuff. Can laying out there, probably a beer can. It's like about probably ten years old. Rain. Are you serious? Fucking rain. I need to get my shit done on my Civic. And it's raining. It's really hard to work on electronics. Carry them in, carry them out. Run wires and shit in the rain. And yeah, that's what you see when you look out my shed door. You look into the woods. <sighs> well, let's see what I can do. Well, with the rain and everything, can't really see that black line. I still have one cut measured. One run of my ground. And I really don't think I'm going to have enough wire to do the four runs like I wanted to. So I just have to do what I can do. And what sucks is I don't know how to get more of this wire because he was out. I don't know if, if American Base can uh, still makes it or what's up with it. Anyway, my trusty dollar store hacksaw and I mean dollar tree like one dollar comes with like four blades I'm gonna hack it look at that greatness actually works really well with not too much effort but this is my first run of ground I'm going to measure it and get me an estimate of how many runs I can actually get out of it. Alright, here's my conclusion. This, this run is like 12 foot long. That is with, uh, I took, tried to take everything into factor. I actually, without cutting it, ran it um, on my floorboard. Took out the creases the way that would normally be. Be running smooth along. Um, tucked by the side of my seat threw my firewall up and I actually took it to the ground spot um, that is uh, minus the terminals so I didn't add the terminals in there those are going to be connected and um, um, that's minus my fuse block if I throw my fuse block in there hell, I might be insane and just start off with no fuses and just say fuck it but I don't know this is a lot of work to, to pop something in two minutes but uh, um, and that is making it where I can actually lift my seat up um, it's laid down right now and my ample set on the back of the seat um, but it, I had it to where I can actually uh, enough enough wire to where I can raise my seat up still tuck it alongside the seat and uh, come out to 12 feet now technically if these are really 50 foot rolls I should be able to get four runs a piece out of them and uh, it'd be 48 feet and have two feet left over but uh, you know I'm gonna have a gimme on that two feet because it doesn't look like I can do four runs but um, I should be able to cut the rest of them at 12 feet and be okay so Time to do some work. I was actually going to run everyone individually up through there and make sure everyone was going to be the right length, but uh, the 12 feet um, I think should be good because uh, it was the farthest away on the battery. And yeah. Yep. Okay, so here's what's going on. Um, I took my uh, my ground wire in the house and I pretty much rolled it all out. I laid out my measuring tape, um, seeing if I can get four 12 foot runs. And I, uh, I laid it on the measuring tape to measure it. And it turns out that I can get four foot runs, four of them, blah, four foot runs, four 12 foot runs and have like a foot to spare about a foot so uh you know i'm short on a on a, on a foot but eh i think usually most of 50 foot rolls coming with 49 feet but i don't know that looks like good cable 
Um, the cable's got 4,200 and shit, 4,264 strands. And uh, I'm excited as hell. I got four runs and I have a little bit left over to run to my amp. Um, I don't have enough to do exactly how I wanted to do it. I actually wanted to do it to where um, I had um, um, a wire running to my uh, my battery back to my blocks and then have enough wire to make it to where I can run fused or unfused to where I had enough wire to um, run it from my fuse block over but also had enough to make it all the way up to run it unfused if you understand what I'm talking about I'm sorry it's it's in my brain I've thought this out for months but uh fuck the rain I'm still on it and there is my big ball of wire and actually uh, my speaker wire is also American bass um, I was too much of a poor ass and cheap ass to get um, red and brown but I will know which ones are the grounds and which ones are not so I just got one collar but those are going to be hidden inside the box so you won't even see them except for two browns coming out now the red now's where I get nervous because this is what I'm left with with four runs of the uh, the, the ground uh, I hope this gives me four runs shit and this right here is enough to go for my bus bars should only need like like this much to go for my bus bars to my amp so uh, why don't I just go ahead and burn it so uh... yeah Ugh. there it is people there's one run there's two there's three up there and he's kind of tangled with the fourth and I have almost exactly the same amount left over so I'm pretty stoked about that um, my last one here I had to change my blade like I said this thing comes with like three blades I have one left because I've had to change it for for a dollar one dollar at a dollar tree I don't know what you have around you we actually have a dollar store where things are not a dollar they're like who knows what and then we have like a dollar tree where things are uh, everything in the store is a dollar and that's where I got this little guy little hacksaw and uh, with not a lot of effort it hacks right through zero gauge so you don't always have to go big and expensive to cut this stuff and I find the ways not to um, it's a little crooked but you know for a dollar Uh, I hate when my batteries die. Sorry about the pause. I don't know what the hell I was talking about. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Bah, I got enough. Um, awesome. Uh, these guys look familiar. These ones actually just came in the mail. Um, I didn't have enough. I actually paid uh, $10 more for these than what I would have had to off another site that's now selling them, but I wanted the uh, the exact same ones because I knew exactly how big they were and what would fit. These are actually for two zero wire, and these are the uh, the closed end. And these are these are a little bit harder to solder. Um, but uh, yeah, so I have all my ring terminals now. I should be good. Um, I had enough anyway, but I've already spent a bazillion dollars, so I might as well make it all pretty as pretty as I can anyway. Um, I will show you the uh, how I'm going to solder the ring terminals in the next video. Should be the next video anyway. And uh, I'm actually not sure how the hell I'm going to do it because the last time I did it was um, with a friend. Not the last video. The last soldering video I did was by myself. But the, the time I used these to solder a couple for the big three I was going to try to do on my Hyundai that was screwed up. Um, I had a friend with me so I have no vice so it's going to be a trick. But uh, I'm in business. Zero gauge wire out the wazoo. The shit's on.